All right, in the paper, uh, Teaching Experimental Design Techniques to Industrial Engineers, on page 340, there's a nice graph which shows the uh, mean for low and high for each parameter on the same graph. So I wanted to show you to make this because it's not very intuitive how you need to arrange the data. So you'll see from up here, um, I've got lots of gaps. It's because in Excel, we need it to think that each of these is a separate series. So in order to do that, we need to put them on different lines. So um, on the first row, I only have data for parameter A, then parameter D, then B, then C, then E, and then F. And this way, Excel thinks each one of these is a separate series um, and doesn't connect the dots. If I had them all together, it would connect the dots and I would end up with um, two lines, one for low, one for high, which I don't want. So let's go ahead and put this into a graph. So I'm going to highlight from A all the way down to the bottom right of my data. Insert, I want a line graph and I want uh, markers. So I'm going to choose this one here. Okay, so there's our graph. Just a couple modifications really. Um, first is I don't need my series uh, legend because it's pretty self-explanatory for my x-axis label. So hit the delete key and remove that. And then on my uh, y-axis, I'm going to format that to change the boundaries. So if I look up here, 1.9 is my minimum. And my maximum is 2.4. Okay, and then click on fixed. Now you'll notice here I've got two decimal places. I don't really need the two. Um, I want one decimal place, so I'm going to choose number and change this to 1. Um, and go back to um, axes options. If we have a look up here, those are point 0.1. That's okay. All right. Um, so you see here it's got every number twice. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of my, or I'm going to make my um, major axes increment slightly different. I'm going to make the major unit to be point 0.1. And then click OK and that way it gets rid of the second value. Okay so there's my graph with all of my means. I could just format that and make it look um, a bit better according to what I wanted. So if I move over here to the right I've got the same data but displayed in a different way and this is clustered bar charts of means with error bars which is just like what we did before uh, but in this example we did one parameter per graph and here we've got every parameter on the same graph. So I need two tables. This is a table of averages which I've copy and pasted from pr um, the data we got before and then a table of standard errors times 1.96. So this is for my confidence intervals for the mean. So um, we need them both in separate graphs. So let's highlight the averages first. Insert, column. Okay so here's my here's my main graph. Let's just move it over there. I'm just going to change the color a bit Okay, um, and I'm going to keep my legend this time. I want to add in some error bars, so if I click on my blue ones to start with and layout, error bars, more error bar options just like before. We want a custom value, specify value. Okay, I'm going to delete what's in my positive error, highlight everything in blue. Okay, so I'm just looking at blue bars at the moment. This is my positive and negative error. So let's delete this, go ahead and highlight the same data again, because remember we have to go the same distance from the mean up and down. Click OK. Now click on your red bars, and let's close that. If we do custom specify value, delete, we're going to highlight the row that corresponds to high, delete the negative error, highlight that same row of data again click OK. So now I've got my bar chart of means with error bars. Now the only difference between this and uh, what I had before is that I've adjusted my axis. So I started at 1.5 rather than at 0 and I've put some borders um, on my line. So you can amend and format this the way that you want. I also should have put in um, an axis title that says time of flight in seconds which I haven't done yet and I probably could put something down here about the parameter as well. Alright, so there's your clustered bar chart of means for every parameter.